Today we will be looking at easy formulas to design long trusses. Let's imagine here we have a very long span of 22 and a half meters. Let's assume there is a roof that we're going to support on this. If you're working out a preliminary size of a truss, what you want to look at is the span over 15. Therefore, the first formula is that the depth is equal to the span over 15. That's just an approximate figure. Hence, 22.5 divided by 15 is 1.5 meters. That's the first formula you should remember. There's a distributed load on the top, call it W, and it's equal to 20 kilonewtons per meter. We've got 20 kilonewtons per meter as a UDL. To find out the bending moment, similarly to a simply supported beam. M is equal to WL squared over 8. Therefore, we've got 20 times 22.5 squared divided by 8, which equals 1266 kilonewton meters. The following formula you need is to find out the axial load on the bottom and the top chord. To find the force, we take our moment and divide by the depth between the two chords, 1.5 meters. Hence, the force equals m over d which is equal to 1,266 kilonewtons meters, divided by 1.5. Consequently, we have 844 kilonewtons of axial force in the top and bottom chord. The way to remember this formula is that if you've got a moment with the units in kilonewton meters, you divide it by the value of meters, which ends up crossing those two out, you end up with a value for kilonewton. The next thing we need to find out is our value of I required. The value of I is a value of the area moment of inertia required. To find this, we're going to limit the deflection to span over 360. As we know, the deflection formula for a simple supported truss is equal to this. To derive I, we take the Young's modulus of steel 210 kilonewtons per millimeter squared. Therefore, the I required would be 2.24 WL to 3. This formula gives you the output in centimeters to the 4. There's a really great little formula that will tell you the I value of truss, the area of the top or bottom chord multiplied by the depth squared over 2. Hence, after you've preliminary sized your top and bottom chord that's based on the axial force. You can consequently find out your I value and compare it with I required, making sure the deflection is not greater than a span over 360. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.